What you are about to witness is not for the faint of heart. Get ready for Office Baked. Competition never waits. Take your gear on the go with a custom pack built to protect it. Because any place can be an arena. Game on. The Tumi Esports Capsule. Available on Tumi.com and select Tumi stores. Me, 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 but also you. <laughs> the Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film. Hip, 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 powder donut. <clears throat> okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the name your price tool from Progressive. Oh man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous Walrus, the Bulbous Walrus. The name your price tool, only from Progressive. The owl ran afoul of the comatose coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates price and coverage match limited by state law. That medication. All right, y'all already know what it is. This is office baked. We got myself, as usual. We got Mackenzie. We got Angie and Terry. Did all you just together. fucking forget my name? Hey, I had a brain fart. <laughs> oh it's okay. My- I almost forgot my hey, chips. Do you realize I have already admitted to everyone, including a medical doctor, someone that goes sir, to school for sir, years. Sir, I want to speak to your manager. I am offended. <laughs> she is your manager. Oh, quite frankly. Quite frankly. But no, like, I literally went to someone that goes to school for over eight years to inform them that quite frankly, my brain is not working and could they, <laughs> that I don't remember shit and is there a pill they could give me? They didn't want to hear that. Um, but no. So I was listening to the radio this morning. Oh dear. And according to the Huffington Post, 60% of women consider kissing not cheating. Now, so now, th- yes, yes, 60%. So I want, since I have three women involved in the show, (laughs) now normally two, but I brought even my wife in on this opinion because I've been told flat out, if I'm caught cheating, I'm going to wake up with no dick. Like it's going to be glued to my fucking forehead. (laughs) It's going to have, like, I'm going to be like, I don't know what happened. I woke up and I'm a fucking unicorn. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. Like I didn't need to drink. I didn't need to fall. I didn't need to do part of jackass or nothing. Hey, this is Jay and you're listening to jackass. No, (laughs) it's flat out unicorn. And that gives a whole new meaning to giving head or headbanging because if I want to fuck. Oh my God. God. I mean, you're not wrong, though. I know. I know. I know. That's why I'm like, Jay, you say the craziest shit. But it makes sense. (laughs) It's like, I just have the nerve to say it. You do. That's the difference. And maybe I need to be medicated because I have the nerve to say it. Okay. So, what do you get? No, here's the thing. I have questions. If you catch Shane holding a bitch's hand at the gas station. I'm going to cut his fucking head off. Right, hand, that's... hand. Yeah, because yes. that it's an eye for an eye. So... No, that's more intimate. Kissing and hand touching is more intimate than the. So you say fucking... kissing is cheating. Yes. So you're not part of the sixty percent. No. no. So where do you draw the line from saying that this is cheating? Because the Huffington Post big news thing says sixty percent, and I've got three women yes, here that are saying fuck no. Sixty percent of what generation? <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Like that, that is this the new know, you know pansexual fuck it anything? Surely, it surely isn't. <laughs> not this Gen Xers. Yeah. Like, there's a lot we don't give a shit about, but there's a lot we do. So what would Shane get away with? Not a goddamn thing. Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> what would Jay get away with? Mm. Out, okay, flirting for tips, you already know. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. Friends. Like, I don't... He can have female friends. I don't give a shit. They can okay, have... see, I, I know that Terry ain't going nowhere, and I think it's because I had bad relationships. So I have my own insecurities. And I've admitted it's my fault. And Terry has her own insecurities from past situations that kind of make her leery of who I hang out with. I'm sure, I'm sure we all do. We all do, yeah. I have been cheated on by everyone but Shane. But see, he chose you. And that's what I try to tell Terry. I chose you. You know, you're the best you that you can be at this moment. And I'm happy. And, you know, but now we haven't heard from the quiet one over here in the corner. So what would a man, the man, or your man, whatever... Or a woman. Or a woman. 
what what are they allowed to do or not allowed to do or where would your line be drawn <laughs> my line would be drawn if i even found out that they were talking to somebody else romantically yeah, yeah. Now, okay now now like, what if they're yeah. doing it just for tips like you know how i go with the the soccer moms harmless, the milfs harmless that's harmless i mean that's different but i mean if they're like texting or okay. snapchatting well, all those apps like are that. the fucking devil. If they're like, if they're friends, if it's like a friend situation, that's fine. Yeah. But as soon as they cross the line into like trying to meet up with them, exactly, or being, or being see, like, oh, I want to see you. Oh, I would mm-hmm. like, I want to, I want you to be here with me. Or even romantic conversation. Or right. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. You can you can get into a deep conversation with a friend, and it turns or, bad. Or you can. You know, even if that friend is same sex, opposite sex, whatever, you can you can get into a deep conversation. You can confide in that person. You can rely on that person. You can platonically love that person. But if it goes beyond that into secretly you know, like, meeting, even, yeah. even just over the phone, like or Snapchat well, or like, whatever, not even sending pictures, like <laughs> you know, oh, you know. I, I really, really care about you, and I wish we could be together. Yeah, that even, kind even of that kind of shit. Yeah, no, no. Well, see, bitch. and maybe I'm super old fashioned, but you I are. have like I have like friends, and like whether we live near those friends or whatever. If it was the roles were switched, so say you lived right here and we were neighbors, fine. If I was sitting on the porch after ten o'clock at night with you. But Terry went inside. Nothing good happens past 10 o'clock if your partner goes inside and it's already 10 o'clock. Like... No, because we're friends. We're friends. We could have... trust us. We could sit outside talking about shit till midnight. We could. Because there's there's that line. Yeah. There's that line. Now, I know my friend is married. I'm not going to cross that line. Yeah, but I'm saying... But if I was, say, like, just some random neighbor that you weren't friends with and yeah that that would be uh, uh, quite a bit different different. like when we first met jessica we didn't know much about her we're not like i didn't even like she offered me a massage no one comes in my house but terry like i'm that old school yeah yeah. no one crosses that threshold unless i I let my kids in massage huh you let my kids in well, yeah, but that's different. I mean, they were kids. They had to use the restroom or they had to shower or get whatever. Yeah, because the water was out. Water was broke. Yeah. And I mean, technically, I came on the porch when all that went down and was like, y'all know how that shit works. Yeah, we were outside <laughs> for like 45 minutes till they were done. <laughs> but, go ahead. Because I mean, I'm going to say something. Yeah. You have a jealous streak. Mm-hmm. And it's probably from the past. Yeah. But I have a friend named Jason, mm-hmm. and you made me get rid of him mm-hmm. because... Well, because his intentions weren't pure. He kept saying he wants to get back with his wife. He wants to get back with his wife. He wants to get back with his wife. Okay, here's the problem. He's telling her that, confiding in her, doing that. If Shane was having a problem, but he was confiding in Mackenzie and trying to do that, the next three words out of the mouth should be, then go tell her. Then get it working with her. That's where I saw it was making me uncomfortable. Because I'm like, why is he always talking to you if he's trying to make it work with her? Because right now, he's on fragile ground if they're broke up. And he's trying to make it work with I her. I mean, I'd probably tell him that anyways. I'd yeah, be like, but I, 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 I that situation in a different light. If you have a friend, whether it's the opposite sex or not and that is a person you feel comfortable confiding in right that's that's one thing well it's he like, was my first boyfriend see that's where they have a history that's, you know <laughs> not but always, we were friends yeah there's a reason exes are exes but here's the thing i have two exes or one we'll um, whatever how many yeah crazy bitches i know i have a person from chicago oh and basically, she's no threat, but if she lived in Morgantown, I think Terry would probably be very 
on territorial? Yes, yes, that's the word. Yeah, Her claws not, would be out. It's not jealousy, it's territorial. There and, you go. And that's where I'm going from, because using you as an example, and I'm not going to say who, where, when, or how, because I don't want any drama, but if someone brings someone around you and says, oh, they're just friends, and then they take them to company parties, company picnics, whatever, and they're just friends that's where the problem in the line of where what we define to what's allowed to what has been done mm -hmm. and it's this giant clusterfuck of what we put up with as people to stay a couple or stay happy <laughs> so yeah there always has to be boundaries in some sort but well, yeah with any relationship <laughs> yeah. there should be boundaries right. for sure because you were told just friends and then next thing you know and they're going to a company picnic, not you. Yeah, I went through that. And that's where I'm saying, so like if this guy is really texting and saying, oh, I wish she would come back. I want it to work out. I, w okay. I do both of well, them. Well, you're, you're telling the wrong motherfucker, you know? I mean, go buy a Hallmark card. Go stand out her door. Hold up the boom box. And I think, <laughs> I think you were yeah. more threatened when he didn't want to meet you. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that, yeah. That's the that line. Because here's the thing. Yeah, I have the belief. Sucks. I have the belief if you don't want to be my friend, then we all should be friends. Something ain't right when we all can't be people. But like, if I didn't bring Angie time. around and I said, oh, I got this friend Angie. She's badass and she goes to shows with me. And then you didn't get to go to a Twisted show and she went. You would think that's suspect because yeah. she didn't want to so meet that, you. That would be suspect. <laughs> <clears throat> but at the same time, at the same time, it is never, ever, ever, ever <laughs> that outside person's fault. They may have, like, in, in instances of, of cheating, they may have instigated it. They may have pressured But the married person wetter, makes the choice but to cross the, the line. But it is the person in that committed relationship that done fucked uh, exactly, right. because she said she could sit there and say, "I don't want you to have email. I don't want you to have Facebook. All this," and it's that person that makes the choice to continue talking to those females or doing those things. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not like that. Yeah, I don't feel that it's it's but I, I, right to control. That one was the red flag. Right. Well, well that was the red flag. He didn't want to but... meet me. And I'm that like, dude, let's flag. go to dinner. Let's let's sit down. You know, he ain't got to be my best friend. I eat this. But I feel <laughs> like he should, you know, at least want to acknowledge I exist. My husband. Respect my relationship. I'll respect you. We can continue. And I'm not saying I got to be around every time. There's times that her and Camilla, you know, are hanging out. Or me and Peter are hanging out. Or vice or versa. Or me and Peter. Yeah. We went to dollar tree the other day i was shocked <laughs> my my husband my husband has a female friend that that he works with or has worked with i'm not sure if she still works there but if, but he, he if has, she didn't want to meet you he has confided in her about you know certain issues mm -hmm. and you know what i'm really fucking glad he's got someone he can talk to if he can't talk to me right but yeah if he you know was trying to keep me open way from this girl or didn't want me to meet her or it is whatever a it would be suspect but no he's always trying to you know get us to hang out so we can be friends i'm like this is your, that's your yeah. friend that's really probably you know, probably it. one of threesome that's probably what <laughs> not him not really mm -hmm. but see that's does he where... have like a jealous tendency too or yeah but that's for different reasons <laughs> <laughs> but see that's where i think the red flag and my anger came with that he was an ex he doesn't want to meet your new dude that you're married to. He doesn't have any of that. So I feel like there was a background to that. Because mm. if mean, he, he was like. Felt, he could have felt maybe like insecure meeting you. Like, yeah. okay, I'm going to meet the husband now and he's not going to like me. Or it doesn't matter if I shit. like you or not. That's the whole point. Like, I don't judge. But if you're already putting that yeah, wall he up. he don't know that. He doesn't know that about you. But if he wants to put that wall up, that is very. But it is. It is suspect. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's why I say his intentions might not be genuine. He could be sitting here saying, oh, I wanted to work with my wife. And then he invites her to dinner. And I'm like, well, he don't want to meet me. He just wants to hang out with you. Just a little no, fucked up. Because but at the end of the day, if you tell your significant other that you trust them, you need to trust them. It doesn't matter what that other person's 
true intentions are. And we wouldn't have worked anyways. He's an atheist. <laughs> so I would not... I mean, that's one of my main things. Man. That is a deal breaker for some. Yeah. So, what do you think, Mackenzie? What? The not wanting to meet <laughs> is obviously <laughs> suspect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you even here? Are you? Yes. Here? She's on planet Mackenzie. <laughs> I didn't know what part of that you meant. Just whatever you're yeah. thinking. So I mean, we say what we think. What's the brain you? What brain we had you? a we had a interesting, and when I say interesting, I mean totally fucked up and horrible situation happened today. Are you talking about the dude in the truck? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! And I got to yell at someone! I It's literally like... Jay literally stood there and waited for me to do for like half an hour to come I back did. to his truck. I stared his so fucking truck So then he could yell down. at him. So, here's what happens. And I got permission to yell. And Angie's sitting there watching the door. She's like, Angie's oh shit. Just like, I don't I work here. Fuck. Yeah. So, and I've only got to do that one other time when the homeless guy I was messing with the women and robbed uh, uh, what you call its car. Oh, is the, time, is the time he said he could not be caught and, yes. and he would outsmart anyone, especially a woman. And oh, I outsmarted him. <laughs> <laughs> so, guy, basically, um, there's a, a, a business next to us, and okay. that business, a home renovation business. Yes, and it's ran by a, a guy nicknamed Vagina Face. Yeah, he oh, and his like wife. Him. I didn't know Stuff his wife didn't passwords. know that he was she was getting in a lesbian relationship. Oh God, Jay. Yeah. So at the end of the day, he came like we'll just give some background. He hates people parking in his area. His he has like four or five spots that have to be his. And have hey, to be I and then he that. takes up all the fucking rest of them. Yeah. So like, here's the kicker. We got two. We got two. He's got like seven. So. Then, in front of our store, this freaking truck that has zero license plate. It's got a black piece of cardboard. Dude is riding dirty. They seen him rolling. Yeah. So, motherfucker literally rolls down his window. He had time to back in. He had time to stop his truck. This was not an emergency situation. He projectile vomited in oh. front of my store. Okay? Like, there were... Out the window. Yes. Like, I am so glad there were not customers oh sitting down. Oh, my God. In the window, it didn't, it eating, it watching didn't this get watch on his down. truck. It, it caught air. It was yeah. LeBron James. <laughs> I would get sick. Okay. So, I'm already irritated, okay? Because this is right in front of where, like, people walk and shit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like, people have to walk. Like, if they're walking from like you, you get price out cutter, of your car. You and you're get standing. out of your car, you're going to step and damn it. What? you got to edit it. Had it you what? You said price cutter. Well, there's tons of them. We're, we're, we're right? somewhere. It's just a freaking grocery store. Yeah. It. Yeah, fuck it. I ain't editing shit. This is a go for it. All right. Okay, so, no. So, I then got permission because I'm like, no, this is unacceptable. You know, whatever this business or another business or another business allows, we're like the bougie restaurant. Bougie end of our type of restaurant. Gotcha. Like, okay, so we're not like the lower end where we just slap it together. Yeah, yeah. we're not we're not fast food. Yeah. But we're not fine dining. We're either. like in that we're, middle. We're yeah. like, we stay we're on like that line. We're like the bougie fast food. Okay, yeah. yeah. The bougie so, of the bougie and most, fast food. Yes. And most <laughs> we're, like, of, we're, we're the target of yes. fast food. And most of, <laughs> and most of our clientele are like, you know, Mercedes, Lincolns, you know, Louis nice. Vuitton purses. So at the end of the day, they don't want to see that shit. And it could affect our business. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Angie, this just went down. And I show her said pile right beside said truck. And yeah, so, he just uh, got out and walked into the business, business next door. <laughs> yeah, after just, he does uh, it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Nothing so, happened. Yeah, like it was normal. It's a Tuesday, you know? just yak <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Oh. So I'm like, am I allowed to say something? And she's like, Go ahead, guns blazing. It's all you, homie. 
So I stood by that door like a watchdog for the next 30 fucking minutes. I'm sure customers, you did. customers were coming in and I'm pissed at the customer <laughs> because I gotta make a, stand, a thing. And and if, if that guy walks out and you hold me up, I can't accomplish what I was said I was allowed to do. So it's getting in my head and I'm oh, like sure. and I'm like but but what if he comes out, son of a bitch? I gotta hurry this up. <laughs> so I'm looking at Mackenzie and I explained to Mackenzie, I'm like, in my head, I wanna push up. I wanna push <laughs> yeah. the button. I'm allowed to push the button. My crack is getting fed to me. Yeah. And sadly so then he comes out. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? And what have I so, allowed? Yes. <laughs> so I have Jay's track record with men. I'm just like, hey, God. God. <laughs> you don't have a good track no. with men. So I walk out there. The end result is hilarious. Just wait. So I walk out and I say, sir, yes. <laughs> is that your truck? <laughs> yes. Okay. Would you mind um, in the future not letting any projectiles, fecal matter, bodily fluids, or anything end up in our parking lot. I've spoke with my manager, and it's kind of discouraging to our our guests. And he goes, well, the coffee didn't agree with me. I understand. Just don't do it again. And literally, he gets a napkin and picks up the chunks. I was cheering like I was in a... Oh, my God! <laughs> yes! Oh. I was cheering like a cheer squad. You know, if, if, if that were me, if that, if that were me, if I... If you I wouldn't just, have backed in. You would have just... If I just projectile vomited, <laughs> I would have just got, I would have at least walked and be like, y'all got a bucket and you maybe know, a toothbrush I could borrow. Yeah. A little bit of water because or, I need to rinse my mouth, brush my teeth. Go to the hospital. Or get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, don't even get it. I wouldn't even die like well, that. Well, well, like, well, well, the best part is Mackenzie is like, well, did you get his license plate? Because if it turns into you and him arguing and yeah. we have to call the motherfucker didn't have a license plate. He's got a piece of black cardboard. Dude was riding dirty. I took pictures. I couldn't believe it because I'm sitting there narrating it. If I had to put it on YouTube, I'm like, look at this motherfucker. He the just The authorities in this town do not really give a shit they don't. if you have a license plate because I've had that temporary tag on my vehicle since September. Oh, I looked into that because I received the plates for the radio uh, we, station. We looked in it. We, we, Yours we got looked lost. into it too. He actually ended up, the guy who sold us the vehicle, um, ended up misplacing our paperwork. Mm. Oh. And yeah, he found it the other day. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's, it's fine. Just just give take me, care of give me. Give me my shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, you're you're riding dirty. I can <laughs> see how you would be freaked out because I've had interactions where Jay has gone... Half cocked. Full, full cocked. cocked. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is this? Y'all have met my husband. <sighs> yes, yeah, yes, we have. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Well, no. No, like, this became a pissing contest. Yeah, I literally said this. No, I, we lived in a place, okay? We weren't allowed to use our mailbox. No. We weren't allowed to... Um, we supposedly... <laughs> Terry was telling me for months on end that someone was using our laundry soap. And I told her... <laughs> wait, you're crazy. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Exactly. I said, honey, you're imagining it. You know, maybe I do laundry while you're at work. That's where the pods Wait, was are this going. Like a roommate situation? No, 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 no. We rented a whole house. It was the a house. basement was my studio. Okay. And how they Max, had it just let me explain. Let me. Let me so. hey, wait, it gets better. So. We weren't allowed to use the mailbox. We had to get a P.O. box down in Saberton. Yeah. So then she starts telling me about the missing laundry soap, okay? Well, one day I got sent home early because they were like, okay, Black Friday's coming up. We want you to go home early. You're only allowed so many hours a week. So we need more over here. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll go home. So I'm walking into the house and the way that it curved around from where you went in you I, I saw basically blonde hair running down towards the studio and I'm like and it's a skinny bitch it ain't Terry and just dyed her hair this is full on skinny bitch running down the stairs and I'm like you might want to hold up I'm going to call the authorities and she's like oh no the owner of the house that you rent it from gave me permission 
to do laundry here. I said, no, 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 no. No, no that is illegal. <laughs> it's wait, over. wait, wait, gets better, gets I better. I love your gets better. Gets better. <laughs> it gets better. This motherfucker not only, here, even if you were given permission to use my washer, I'm not the richest motherfucker on the block. Don't use my damn laundry pods. Really? <laughs> like, bring, 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 your, bring your own shit. Like, now I got to apologize to my wife. I've been calling her mentally ill for so long. Like, I have, I, have, I have to admit I was wrong. And when Jay yeah, has to do that in the very few times in our relationship, it hurts me. A little piece of me dies yes. inside. Us women all know that you uh, male-gendered people People have a very hard time admitting when you're wrong, even though you're wrong a lot. Okay, so then Terry's on her way home because it's now about three something. So I'm on the phone. I'm like, honey, there's someone in the house. You were right. Laundry soap, gone. Fine. So I'm telling the person I'm calling the cops. She's like, nope, I got permission. And she walks down to the house down below. <laughs> this is a motherfucking family member of the bitch we're paying rent to yes. who's also using our mailbox. This all comes out in the hole. Okay? Now, mind you. So illegal. Wait, yes, water pipe. Know. Wait, water pipes bust. And me and her are out in there in the, in the yard with our dickies on, <laughs> shoveling the fucking yard with our dickies My on. My dad, too. Yeah. Because basically it wasn't her responsibility to fix shit, but we're paying rent. Yeah. So, anyway, the girl's boyfriend or husband or whatever. Brother. Brother comes up and he starts yelling at me and he tells me something like, um... You're a dumb fuck, and I'm going to beat you or something like the little prick you are. And all I heard was prick, okay? I know that I was kind of seeing red. There was a bitch that didn't belong in my studio, near my equipment, and has been in my house when I'm not there. Using the goddamn laundry store. <laughs> yes, yes, and God knows what else, because she had permission. So I heard the word prick. Wait, did you guys have to pay utilities in that? Place? Yes. Yeah. So she's using your water too. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I, I heard. My water bill was I, horrendous. Yes, I heard the word prick. Jay already was seeing red. Prick in another word means penis. So Jay. Yes, we know what prick means. <laughs> so Jay says, I'll show you what a prick is. I'll whip my dick out and slap you in the face with it. <laughs> and the other guy's like looking at him like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> and he's like, I'll pull it out and I'll spray it all over his face. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I was like, we want to talk about a pissing contest. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours. And I was like, oh, gee. I was like, come on, you work a fucking job, but your wife's got to come in and use my laundry soap. That should make you feel like less of a man. So now we got the landlord coming. She happens to be dating a police officer. Mm -hmm. So she walks in. She wants to investigate the house. She gave me permission. 24 hour notice. Wait, it gets better. Bitch. Well, obviously the, the one that got the laundry didn't get that memo. But, um, <laughs> so she gave me permission to, to spray paint Terry's son's room with graffiti and black light stuff. It was fucking awesome. It said like Skrillex and Pink Floyd. Oh my God, it was a mess. <laughs> it looked good. For Max, yeah. yeah. For a kid. That's what I'm saying. For a kid. And I had a big Punisher logo in his bedroom coming off of the wall onto a bookshelf. Cool. Like it was 3D yeah. and everything. So, I mean, the house smelled of spray paint for yeah. like three weeks because I just kept buying spray paint and doing graffiti. So, we couldn't live there for like two weeks while I was doing this graffiti art. So, the landlord knew we were doing graffiti art. Fine. So now she walks in with the fucking trooper that she's banging. Giant conflict of interest. And the trooper tries to start throwing around his weight. Then they brought a whole bunch of other police. Yeah. Members. It was just a big mess. So I was like, well, we're just going to fucking move out of this place. Because now, you know, you're basically, you can't use the mailbox. We had to pay <laughs> to get your water fixed. And here's the kicker. You drive by the house now. And the guy that called me a prick, not saying he was going to whip out his prick, Jay just kind of misunderstood the argument. <laughs> you know how you win an argument when you got a big country boy ready to beat your ass? Just start stripping and telling him you're going to whip out your cock. <laughs> 
Because he'll just sit there and I'll fuck you. I'll swear to God, I will fuck you. And he'll say, be like, whoa, 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 homie. <laughs> but yeah, so guess who lives there now? That guy. That guy and his wife took over the house after we fixed up the place. Yep. That's the irony in it. Yeah. Oh we have had slumbers. <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah, we better, we're going to let you go. But, uh, yeah, 28 minutes in. You already know what it is. Office Baked with Jay. Angles. And? Mackenzie. And? Sparks. You're not Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry. It's Don's Appliances Buy More Save More Sales event June 23rd to 26th. Get up to $500 back on the purchase of appliance packages from Beko, GE, Electrolux, LG, and Samsung. The more you buy, the more you save at Don's Appliances and Don'sAppliances.com. Whatever business you're in, growth isn't just about getting bigger. At ADP, we believe it's about getting stronger by turning data into insights so you can build teams that work as teams. By using our AI technology to help catch payroll errors before their errors. And by keeping ahead of thousands of changing regulations so you can keep ahead of everything else. ADP helps businesses like yours grow stronger every day. ADP, HR talent, time, and payroll.